her meniscus is okay then? It, it looks fine. I didn't see any tears in either meniscus. Okay. But what I tell people is in some studies, about one out of five dogs can go on to tear the meniscus even after the surgery. Okay. So, so it's still possible. It's not likely, but I tell people about it. Okay. Uh, and the fact that she had a partially torn ACL means it's a lot more stable than some dogs who are not. So okay. this does well for her is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And then uh, I spoke to your wife earlier. We changed to the TTA procedure. Did she tell you that? She did tell me that. Okay. The only reason I like that a little better is short term, I think they heal a little bit quicker because you cut a little less bone. Okay, cool. Long term, there's really no data to suggest any one of them are different. Okay. So we did the TTA procedure. It went smoothly. Um, but in, in all cases, what we've done basically is made a cut in the bone, so we've, had to cr we've created a fracture. Okay. And that means that she has to take it easy now for about three months Ooh. while it heals. Wow, okay. And what this means is when she goes outside, she has to be on a leash at all times. She can't run at all? None. Not, not at all. Okay. Um, no jumping up and down off of furniture, couches, beds, stairs. Wow. Anything that puts any strain on this could potentially break the repair. Okay. And I don't think you want to spend that kind of money again to try to repair it. No. Um, but this is a strong repair, and I've had some dogs get out and do things, but I just I caution people against it. Okay. Uh, any indication that her back left is having any issues? I didn't see any now, but as I told your wife before the surgery, uh, about 50% of dogs, when they tear one ACL, they go on to tear the other one. Okay, and she does leave a very active lifestyle. She backpacks with us and goes on all our adventures. And I would do nothing to change that. I'm, there's nothing you can do to prevent it anyhow. Okay. But I just tell people about it because the number's so high that if it happens, you're not alarmed. Okay. Um, we'll have instructions for you as far as activity and medications. Um, but basically, you'll bring her back in about two weeks to have the stitches out. Okay. Uh, at that time, when the stitches come out, if you want to begin very short leash walks, that's okay. And over that next six to eight week period, you can gradually increase the length of the walk as a means of physical therapy. Okay. But never can she be off leash running or do anything strenuous. Okay. And what did you use to repair that one portion of the ACL? Is that another ligament tissue? No. In fact, what I did was the only little torn portion I saw, I removed. Okay. And I left the intact there are two major bands associated with the ACL. I left the other one intact. Uh huh. And that actually bodes well, like I said, because that means this repair is even stronger. Okay, so she only has one band versus two bands now? That's correct, in, in what you think of as your ACL. Okay, well, wouldn't that be less strong overall? Uh, it, it, let me put it this way probably 95% of the cases when I go into a knee, the whole thing is gone, it's shot. Uh huh. In her case, it was just a partial tear. Okay. I mean, this is this is actually the rare one when we get them before they've completely torn. Okay. Now, what I'm saying is that's stronger because most of the time I get in there and there's no ligament at all. Okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It uh, preserves some of it. My only concern is I, I was hoping to make her at least as strong as she was before the injury. It, I, is is what you're saying that she will be? I understand there's two bands. She has one band. It wasn't completely ruptured. That's good. What, what I'm saying is she, she will probably do better than most because of this. Now, okay. to say that she will be absolutely 100% normal it, it is not true. No one is normal after having an ACL tear. Yeah, I'll vouch for that. Um, now, you can get back to a lot of really good function, but um, she has a little bit of arthritis in there from, I guess, this initially occurred around January. Yes. So what Mother Nature does is starts to lay down arthritis to try to stabilize the knee. Uh -huh. It never succeeds, but that's, that's a sequelae, if you will, of the surgery and the, the previous tear. Okay. There's always going to be some arthritis, but that doesn't mean she won't do well. I anticipate she will do great. Okay, and she's we have ran her her whole life to keep her in shape, and so she's in shape for the mountains. Uh, once she's fully healed, do you recommend that that's okay to do, run her? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I, I would let her be a normal dog at that point. Okay. Um, at about three months, um, you know, if the x-rays look good, then you're free to do whatever you want with her. Okay. All right. So, um, I assume they told you she would stay overnight. Yeah. 
Do you want us to yeah. come get her? We'd prefer that, it, but it does. Well, I doubt only because she's just absolutely looped on, on drugs right now. Okay. Um, and she will go home with one of these, what are called a fentanyl patch. It's a type of morphine that goes to the skin. Yeah. They'll bring her back in a few days to have that removed. That should help a lot with the pain over the next few days. Okay. And then she'll be on antibiotics and other pain medications when the fentanyl patch is off. Does she need to wear a cone? You tell me, is she a licker or a chewer? She's a licker. Probably, because you don't want her to lick the, stitch, the stitches or the incision. Okay, we'll play that one by ear. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a price for us on surgery, do you? Uh, whatever they quoted you is whatever. I mean, I have nothing to do with that. I charge them a flat rate to do this. Yeah. And whatever they charge is what they charge. Cool, $700. That's a deal. <laughs> Uh, you, you argue with Corey over that one. <laughs> I'm out of that loop. <laughs> All right, doctor. Appreciate it. Any questions, my number is on the uh, instruction sheet. Okay. And you're welcome to call me. Thanks much. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. There's update. Allie the Mountain Dog. Date, 19 April 2011. Beautiful little bird. Look at this area we're in, dude. dude Is this a majestic or what? Wow. Good girl. Good girl. I know you want to go chasing. It's in your blood. No. no go. You're not going after the mountain goats. You are not going after the mountain goats, dog. <laughs>